Good morning and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, we are going to look at the 2020 NCA Level 3 Probability Distribution Paper. And today, we are looking at question 1. Question 2 and 3 will be, give, uh, will be shown in other videos. So, please don't forget to watch them if you want to do well in this paper. So, without further ado, let's go. So, question 1 looks like that. A, ho a hospital aims to deliver lunch to patients anywhere between 5 to 25 minutes. So, lunch will be in break to 5 to 25. Okay, we have drawn this graph. And they also aim to deliver dinner to patients between 5 to 30, the blue graph. Okay, so sketch the graph. So, this has to be either a triangular or a rectangular distribution so this has to be a rectangular because a rectang the triangular distribution have a peak point so in this point we don't have that so we have drawn this graph so now we're going to know what is the probability so to get the probability of the height here so the height of the blue line we have to take 1 minus b minus a b is 30 and a is the first number 5, so 1 divided by 30 minus 5 is 1 over 25 is 0 0.04, so the height is 0 0.04. Similarly, for the orange line, we have to find the height, so 25 to 5, so 1 divided by 25 minus 5 is 1 divided by 20, is going to be 0 0.05, that's why the height is 5. If you can draw that graph, that will give you an achieve in that paper. Okay, let's proceed now. So question 2 of part A, so meals are called if they arrive more than 20 minutes after leaving the kitchen. So 20 minutes for lunch, 20 minutes to 25, for dinner is 20 to 30. Okay, so use the appropriate probability distribution, calculate the estimate for probability that a patient has both a cold lunch as well as a cold dinner. The word N in mathematics or in statistics is multiplied. So we calculate the probability of a cold lunch, the red box. Okay, cold lunch, the, 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 the area is 20 to 25, that is 5, 5 times the height, so 5 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.025. For the dinner, which is the blue line, the lateness is for 20 to 30, so there will be 10 multiplied by the probability 0 0.04, so 10 times 0 0.04 is 0 0.4. So to calculate the probability that they have a cold lunch and cold dinner, it's going to take these two numbers and you're going to multiply, as I said, in probability, if the word N, you multiply the word or you add. So this time is the N, so you multiply the two numbers and the answer is 0 0.1 and that will give you a merit in this paper. Okay, now we do some theoretical answer. Okay, so the question, now the next question is, uh, excellent. It's quite an easy excellence. Okay. Consider an assumption you made when you calculated the answer in the previous question. Discuss whether or not this assumption is to be valid. So our assumption was that the cold lunch is independent of a patient's cold dinner. In other words, the, the assumption was that a person who gets cold lunch is not dependent on whether they get the cold lunch or not in the dinner. So we are independent of each other, so it's not affected by the lunch. The cold dinner is not affected by the cold lunch. So the assumption is not valid as if the patient room is further away from the kitchen, okay, then naturally they'll be served last for last for both the lunch and the dinner, unless the patient uh, move rooms during the day. So if they don't move room during the day, if they get the lunch last, they get cold more than 20 minutes, they were more likely to get cold dinner too. So my assumption is not valid. If you can answer that, that will give you an excellence in that paper. Not too bad, right? Okay, great. Now we shall do the next question. The next question is about Poisson distribution. Okay, so this paper has Poisson, binomial, normal, and also triangular and rectangular distribution. Okay, so we shall read the next question. In New Zealand, the MOH recommend that all adults eat at least three servings of veggie each day. Suppose that the number of servings is eaten New Zealand each day can be modeled by Poisson distribution with lambda equals to 3.2. Okay, use the Poisson distribution adults who eat at least three recommended servings each day. So your lambda or your mean is 3.2. 
they are looking for probability of x greater than 3 okay so they are looking for probability of 4 5 6 7 and so forth so you are need to calculate to make your life easier you take 1 minus probability of x 0 1 and 2 and to use that use your graphic calculator your x accumulated uh, uh, p c d okay accumulative and x equals to 2 and then put in your calculator your graphic calculator and you should get your put your x to the 2 and your lambda is 3.2 put under pcd and you should get the answer 0 0.3977 put so because you want 1 minus this number give you uh, 3 or more so 3 or more to be 3 or more so 3 plus 4 5 6 so 1 minus 0 to 2 will give you the answer so Put your calculator this answer is going to be 0 0.3799 so the answer is 0 0.6201 and that is an achieved okay okay now we go to the next one okay this is the inverse poson okay what value of lambda is needed so that uh, at least 95 percent of new zealand eat at least one serving of vegetable each day so you are looking for at least one so it could be one two three and so forth and the answer is 0 0.95 so you know that probability of x equal to zero is going to be 0 0.05 because it's one minus 0 0.95 that will give you 0 0.05 so the formula for poson is this e minus lambda lambda x over x vectorial is 0 0.05 if your x is zero this equals to one this is also equal to 1, so you're going to solve e minus lambda equal to 0 0.05, then you're going to learn both sides, okay, learn both sides, you will get minus lambda, because ln e, the lambda you can bring it down, minus lambda ln e equal to ln 0 0.05, then ln e is equal to 1, so minus lambda is ln 0 0.05, put in your calculator, um, it ln 0 0.05 is actually negative 0 0.996, you get rid of both negative signs, so lambda is 2.996, it is close to 3, and that will give you a merit. Okay? Okay, last but not least, that is the more theoretical question. Give two reasons why the Poisson distribution may not be appropriate to model this situation. Okay? So assume that eating a serving of veggie is independent of eating a ser serving of veggie is invalid because veggie are often eaten as part of a whole meal and often served together so for example in a rose you do not eat each veggie individually but you eat that as a combination of veggie okay so again look through the marking schedule they give you a more detailed answer and eating a serving of veggie occur at a constant rate throughout the day is invalid why because you tend to eat more veggie at lunch and dinner when compared to breakfast so that is two reasons why the use of poson distribution may not be appropriate to model the situation if you can answer both of them that will give you an excellent in this paper so hopefully you watch video two and video three and before long you should be able to ace this external have a good day everyone and see you soon cheers